judged this event before, feel free to ask your table captains or the more seasoned judges about how things are supposed to be done. As we mentioned yesterday, there aren't a whole heck of a lot of rules, but the ones we do have here, we need you to follow very closely, okay? And among the first things we have to do, once all of the judges get seated, is to play you the official KCBS, Kansas City Barbecue Society, rules and regulations. Please listen up. This is very important information. Make notes about it if you wish. And let's begin the official rules from KCBS. Sweet moment. Artie is going to take a step back and enter that phase of life called retirement. So this is going to be the final time that Artie Davis in his role as Remus Powers PHP is going to administer the oath of office. This is gonna be the last time this man does that. He has been doing this now for 33 years. The very first contest is the only one he has missed. Artie, we are going to miss you. Give him a big round of applause. Remus Powers, are you ready to administer your final oath for the 34th annual Jack Daniels World Invitational Barbecue? I'm ready. He's ready, and here we go. Thank you, Chip. And I was in the aging field for 20 years. We don't call it retirement anymore, it's called rewirement. <laughs> so I'm gonna be busy, but I'm gonna miss all of you. Now we'll get to the uh, I told Debbie I was past, past the emotion, so I had to be true to my word. Okay. I always ask people if you can taste the difference between a mac rib sandwich and real barbecue. Please stand if you're able, raise your right hand, and repeat after me. I do solemnly swear, I do solemnly swear to objectively and subjectively evaluate, to objectively and subjectively evaluate each barbecue meat that is, that is presented to my eyes, to my, eyes my, nose, my nose, my hands, my hands and, my palate. and my palate. I accept my duty, accept my duty to be an official Kansas City Barbecue Society sanctioned 34th Annual Jack Daniels World Championship Invitational Barbecue Judge <laughs> so that truth, truth justice, Excellence in, barbecue, Excellence in barbecue and the American way of life, life may be strengthened and preserved forever. Preserve You're on your oath. Do a great job. Thank you. This man has enriched so many of our lives. It's gonna be hard to do one of these events without him. One more time, a round of applause for Artie Davis. And we would like to encourage all of you to stay around for the award ceremony, which begins at five o'clock. We're going to have a special tribute to Artie Davis. I have composed a song. I'm going to sing and dance right up here. That's a surprise to the two of them. All right, yes, my name is Mike Brown. I'm here at the Jack um, barbecue competition, and I just had some incredible sauces, five different varieties. Um, my opinion of all five was very good, except one was a little bit off on the um, texture, I thought, of the five. But other than that, flavors were great. Hey, I'm John Wright. I'm here at the Jack 2023. Like Mike, we just judged the sausage. Outstanding sauces all around. But, you know, there's always a little bit of difference on some of them. So one will come out on top. Don't know which one it'll be, but we're looking forward to it. 
Hi, I'm Melvin Keebler. I'm the general manager of Jack Daniels, and this is my first time here uh, at the Jack Daniels Judge Tent. We just judged some awesome uh, barbecue sauce, and um, I would say there's a, a, a couple of true winners for me. Who you are, where we are, and what you just finished. We are at Jack Daniels Barbecue Competition, and we just did the sauce round. And let's just say if if the world was coming to an end right now, this is exactly where I'd want to be. <laughs> okay. We don't want to invite the apocalypse. Uh, Dave Neal, WGN Radio here. I think this is maybe my sixth or seventh Jack. Some of the best weather. You know, we have the largest contingent of weathermen here, more so than any other culinary event. <laughs> they did their job today, so great weather. It's going to be some awesome food. Thank you very much. Let it rip. All right, I'm Bob Pye from Decatur, Alabama. Team Jiggy Piggy, but we're judging today and just got through with a wonderful lobster and uh, pork medallion entries. And, uh, I don't see it. I wish they had tens instead of nines because these were these were all tens. Here's Ron. Yeah, he loves the microphone. Hi, I'm Ron Harwell from downtown Metro Trinity, Alabama. And in the uh, Homeland Chef's Choice today, on our table, we had uh, lobster with um, crab meat I've gotten, and we had uh, pork uh, medallions with uh, bacon wrapped peppers. Don't know who the contestants were, but let me tell you, they've got their act together. They both submitted excellent entries, and it's a pleasure to be here judging at the 34 Jack. Sit down, Jimmy. Well, you got to talk to the camera. Like, oh, I was like, how you do? I, I, I thought I was in trouble. I'm like, what? Tell us who you are, where we are, and what you ate. I'm Jimmy Miller from Tullahoma, Tennessee. I just had some great lobster and steak and jalapeno roll and bacon. Great food. And I'm at the World Championship of Barbecue. Good day, good day, good day. I'm Fred Davis from Columbia, South Carolina, and I want to echo the comments regarding the great lobster smoked and the sausage. Oh, just out of this world. Anything is, is good when it's been smoked well and prepared well, and the dishes that we just finished with certainly fit that description. I'm Leland Statham, senior meteorologist at the uh, News Channel 5 Network in Nashville, and we just finished Chef's Choice. Ooh, good stuff. Lobster. Lobster. And then the other one was a pork tenderloin with a bacon wrap that uh, had something in it. I'm not 100% sure there, but it was good. That sauce, sauce, though, that came with that second one had a bit of a kick, but oh, we are off to a fantastic start. Can't wait for what's uh, what's on the way with pork, chicken, and ribs. Now, here's a personal question. Okay. Are you personally responsible for this great weather we're having today? Sure, I'll take credit because I get the blame. <laughs> I'll take credit because, yeah, though I'll get the blame uh, when it's not good, but as I always tell folks, uh, I'm only in sales, somebody else is in management. Okay. <laughs> my name's Johnny Trigg. <laughs> and yes, like it's it. true. I keep my foot in my boot. <laughs> Sing us a song. You have the microphone. Go. What do you want? We're talking chick? We're talking... Yeah, we're talking chick. We're talking chicken at the Jack. So far, so good. It's a tough Tell competition. So, my name's Ron Cantor. <laughs> really? I'll be on it. I'll be serious. Hi, my name is Myron Mixon. I'm the winning most man in barbecue. If you don't buy my stuff, you're nothing. <laughs> I want your Taylor's name and number before you leave. Hi, my name's Leanne Whippin. Put this like her. I'll tell her. Hi, this is Stretch, and welcome to the Jack Chicken Contest going on right now. Six good choices here. It's going to be a tough competition. It's stiff across the board. Just like the chicken. How do I follow that? I mean, come on. Hi, I'm Ron Childers, and happy to be here today. And I'm sitting beside two, three 
amazing barbecue like legends over here. I'm more wondering what's going through their mind when they're judging the chicken. I had really six really good samples. They're awesome. I've been coming to this since 2006. It's a good day today. Um, so You're we're just getting started. Weather, aren't you? I am. It's a little windy over my chicken. <laughs> are you gonna? Are you gonna? But the take, sun is shining. An eclipse. Are you gonna take responsibility for this great weather? I will. I will take all <laughs> credit and no blame. There we go. Oh, she left us. Hi, I'm Burton Snack. Hi. Hi, I'm Burton Snacks, and uh, this is my first time at the Jack, and I'm tabled up with legends. Uh, all these guys down here, and this is amazing. I'm, I'm just enjoying myself. Uh, you know, this, this table's full of royalty and me. So, uh, and where are you from? I'm from uh, Waynesboro, Tennessee. Okay. Yeah, and uh, it's it's uh, so uh, love to be invited to the Jack, and it's just an honor to be here. Give it back. Okay, hi. All right, hi, I'm Megan Day from Burnt Finger Barbecue, and on the side of it, judging, not cooking this year at the Jack, but this is great intel for me, so I really enjoyed it. Butter is key. I could taste the butter. You could feel that the, a lot of the chicken was butter poached, and that is a very much an appealing thing for me, so I'm excited to see how these scores turn out for everybody. Really good chicken. We're going to make somebody's day today. Hi, Nick DiMario. I'm a surfer from Gulf Shores, Alabama. Thank you. And I didn't know I would be uh, partnered up with this table with Bagger Vance and the Legends, but I'm super, super, super stoked to be here. How, what did you eat? Oh, man, I've had chicken, and I've had sauce, and it was all finger licking. Which one did you like the best? Am I allowed to say? Yeah, I think so. Number one. Hi, my name is Sarah, Whiskey Nomad on Instagram, and we just did the rib competition, and it was absolutely delicious. We're here at Jack Daniels Barbecue Competition, the Jack. Not your first rodeo? No. <laughs> my name is Chance Moore from Chapel Hill. Um, we just got finished judging the ribs. A lot of great entries. Um, be excited to see who wins. Hi, Tony Moskal, Meridian, Mississippi. Gotta love the ribs here at the Jack. Mike Osborne, executive chef owner, Spirit Oak Lodge, Murfreesboro, Tennessee. The ribs at the Jack, all gone. They were that good. Craig Pasco. <laughs> Craig Pasco, Seneca, South Carolina. Ribs, awesome. Thank you very much. Worth the drive. Hi, I'm Grilling Fool Greg Thomas with GrillingFools.com, and these ribs are out of sight here at the Jack. Uh, I think you can tell which one I like best. The 34th Annual Jack Daniels World Championship Invitational Barbecue. So far, we've judged homeland from the cooking, or chef choice, home cooking from the homeland. Then we had chicken, then we had ribs, then we had pork. Now we're waiting for brisket and dessert. And it is difficult to pace ourselves because everything is so delicious. I would, I've never had more tender meat than today. I mean, it's, it's always that way at the Jack. They know how to, to make it tender. I know you're not supposed to compare and that's very difficult here because everything is so delicious. So having a great time. Good. Thank you. And this is Brian. Thank you, Artie. We're having a great time here at the 34th Annual Jack Daniels Barbecue. Debbie Christian and her team do a fantastic job. They always put on a great barbecue party for everybody. We are honored to be part of the judging team here today. We have had some outstanding turn-in entries. We've had Gary Ribs. We just finished some fantastic pork, and so we're looking forward to a big finish with the brisket and the desserts that always knock your socks off. We are from Kansas City. We're happy to come here to Middle Tennessee to enjoy this barbecue with you. Thank you. Who you are, where you are, and what we ate. What am I doing? Who you are, where you are, and what you ate. What I ate? What you ate so far. <laughs> All right, my name is Betty Hava. I'm from Lynchburg, Tennessee. I've been here for 13 years doing this. 
and I've enjoyed some of the most delicious meat so far that I've ever eaten. Uh, all kinds of it. I don't know the particular names of what they were, but they were good. Hello. Hello. I'm Bonnie Lewis. I have been affiliated with the barbecue in Lynchburg since the beginning. I'm the former mayor. Uh, prior to that, I was the editor of the newspaper. I think that's when I first met you. And used to help Tana shoot whenever she planned this event many, many years ago. We just finished a delicious pulled pork category. Prior to that, we had ribs, we had chicken, and really hard to judge because they're so perfect. Um, I said I don't have lipstick, but I could put barbecue sauce on for lipstick, but really, really, really hard to discern. Everything is so good. And good to see you. Thank you, ma'am. Good to see you, too. My name is Henry Rothenberg from Nashville, Tennessee, where I'm a meteorologist, and we are at the 34th annual Jack Daniels World Championship uh, Invitational Barbecue, eating the best barbecue from around the world, ribs, chicken, pork, uh, homeland or chef's choice, uh, which was a great little steak and seafood dish uh, and a few other things mixed in and uh, just having an amazing time, as always, at this incredible event. Now, I heard Chip Cadman try to claim responsibility for this great weather outside. You going to let him get away with that? I am not going to let him get away with it because all things considered, this is my viewing area in Nashville. We cover Lynchburg and Lincoln and Moore counties. Uh, but, you know, I'll, I'll let Chip have his fame right now on the stage. We'll, we'll take care of this, you know, behind the stage right after the barbecue. All right. Thank you. Who you are? I'm Marsha Hale. I'm at the Jack Daniels 34th annual cook-off, and I just got three judging brisket, and every piece was delicious. They're all good today. All right. Good meat everywhere, all four categories. So uh, a lot of good teams here, and uh, can't wait to see who the winner is, but everybody that I had today, excellent food. So you don't have to eat until sometime next week? Well, yeah, I'm a little full, oh, okay. so I might wait till <laughs> maybe tomorrow, <laughs> but yes, having a great time here in Lynchburg. Okay. Who you are, where we are, what you eat. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. <laughs> All right. Say again? Ready? Yeah. Okay. Action. Hi, I'm Matt Porter, 2020 World's Top Whiskey Taster here at the Jack in Lynchburg, Tennessee. And let me tell you, I just ate some brisket. Oh, wow. I am, guess what? I love cows even more now. Didn't think I could, but I do. So I just got to say a big shout out to the cows and all the fantastic cooks who make this hot. It's incredible. I can't even, I'm, I should have stopped a minute ago because I just ran out of words. But fantastic. Thank you for having me, Jack. Awesome. Hey, y'all. Denny Mike here from the great state of Maine. Uh, my uh, 15th uh, competition here. And um, I got to say, this is the best yet. I mean, everything was fabulous. This brisket was as good as you could ever hope for. And uh, I'll tell you what. These guys are good, and uh, I can't wait to see uh, who ends up GC because uh, they're going to have some chops. Let me tell you, everything was fabulous. Who we doing? Who we are? Where we are? What's it? Uh, Tim Van Dorn, Van Grill Master on social media. We are here at the Jack Daniels for the 34th annual barbecue invitation on and. We had some phenomenal food today. I mean, everything was spot on. So, great time, great friends, great fellowship, great table captains. Everything's great. It's always a good day when you get to eat barbecue. I like that part about the table captain. Yes, see? You like how I threw that in there? I'm Chris Chamberlain from Nashville, Tennessee, and I believe this is my 11th or 12th year judging at the Jack, and it's one of the things I always look forward to, coming down here in the holler and eating myself miserable on some of the greatest barbecue you'll ever get to try. Um, I appreciate all the effort that all the cooks went into cooking all night for us, and it's really paid off in the food they've delivered today. It's been a really top-notch set of entries, so uh, looking forward to finding out who the winners are. 
What do you do in Nashville when you don't go do barbecue? I am a food and drink writer for the national scene and for Thrillist and for Style Blueprint. So unfortunately, my doctor follows me on Twitter, so he knows that I'm doing this. So I'll be in trouble when I get home. <laughs>